Hello and welcome to a look at the Snowmobile Slayer assignment. So, like all the final stand assignments, you must be ranked 10 or above, you must own the final stand DLC and you must have played on a final stand map. Now, the Snowmobile only spawns on final stand maps, so if you don't have final stand you can't even attempt it. You need to get 10 road kills with a snowmobile. So that's running over somebody with a snowmobile you're on or have just got off. And you need 5 minutes of air time. So that's 5 minutes on the snowmobile when it's not touching the ground. Control wise there's only one thing really to look at on the snowmobile and that's the shift key. So that gives you boost. If you press shift you go faster, you jump further and longer. But to counteract that, your snowmobile is much harder to steer and control. So only use the boost when you're going for the jumps. When you're going for the road kills, it's probably not a good idea. And the easiest way to get the jumps is just drive the snowmobile around. So what I tend to do is spawn on the snowmobile and then go to where I want to go, making sure I hit all the little humps and hills on the way. This means you'll get plenty of air time. You could just go onto a low population server and drive around, but I found it's more interesting basically just using the snowmobile in game to get to where you want to go to. And the snowmobile is pretty indestructible. You can crash it head on into rocks, turn it sideways. It will occasionally blow up if you smash it into something hard when it's already damaged. So drive around and you will find people who you can run over and that's how you get your road kills. The road kills you're getting will show up in the assignments tab so at the end of the round you can see your progress. It won't show you minutes or time in the air until you've actually got a full minute so it doesn't show parts of minutes. Things to look out for on the snowmobile. You are very vulnerable to javelins, in fact all missiles, but javelins in particular. The kind of maps that the snowmobiles are on are pretty open. You can also die to mines and slams. They're very hard to avoid. You're often moving so fast that by the time you've seen them, you're dead. And because there's no cover on it, you can just be shot off it by anything that fires bullets. Now, if you do jump off the thing, it will go for miles. So as you can see here, I jumped off to shoot that helicopter and the snowmobile has gone down the track for bloody ages. Although this can be quite useful, which I'll show you later. If you grab an abandoned snowmobile rather than a spawned one, it will have low health because the health degrades if you leave them, but it will gather health again once you're on it. So what are the best ways of getting road kills? Well, I really don't know. One thing I do know is that speed isn't always better. So I was pretty much stopped when I ran over that guy. Something I hadn't really noticed before is that you don't need to be alive to get a road kill. So, if you aim the snowmobile at somebody, they shoot you and kill you, if the snowmobile carries on and kills them, you will still get the road kill for it. And that also applies if you just jump off the snowmobile before it hits them. Snowmobiles will road kill whether you're on it or not, and whether you're alive or not. And in the progress bar, what's white is what you've got in previous rounds, what's in orange is what you've got in the round that's just ended. So there is really no trick to this assignment. All you've got to do is learn how to drive the snowmobile and hit people with it. You don't have to be alive, you don't have to be on it. As long as the snowmobile gets them, you can even be out of bounds like this. Just hit people with the snowmobile. You only need to get 10. Now, I found this assignment pretty tedious because while I'm driving around trying to hit people with this thing, I'm not really doing much in game. I would steer clear of Hangar 21 when you're trying to do this assignment. Stick to Operation Whiteout and Hammerhead. They're by far the best maps for using the snowmobile on and there are lots of open places where you can find infantry and run them over. I didn't really enjoy this assignment but eventually you will get your 10 snowmobile road kills and that will unlock the snowmobile slayer assignment. And you'll get a shiny dog tag for it. I'm really not fond of these kinds of assignments, they feel like trolling. Anyway, at the end of the round, as you can see, it's complete and the badge is all shiny. 
in the dog tag customization for the right hand tags in multiplayer you will find the snowmobile dog tag and there it is on screen so for the snowmobile slayer assignment you must be ranked 10 or above you must own the final stand dlc and you must have played on a final stand map you need 10 road kills with the snowmobile so that's running 10 players over with the snowmobile whether you're on it or not whether you're alive or not and you also need five minutes of airtime. so that's five minutes of you on the snowmobile and the snowmobile not touching the ground it's as simple as that do both of those and then you will get the snowmobile dog tag thanks for watching